Well, you know, obviously getting out there in your first game and getting that score right after you got that touchdown, it just looked like a lot of emotion came out of you. Just what you could say about that moment. Uh, I mean, you know, it was a moment for any kid to live for, you know, just getting out there in the first game and scoring a touchdown was something that I never thought would ever happen. But once I get the ball in my hands and the coach gave me an opportunity, I had to make something out of nothing, I ended up getting in the end zone. It was just like an amazing feeling. Taking that hand off and doing the end around and then obviously using your blocker there. When you were close and you knew that you only had a few years ago, what was going through your head? knowing that you just had to edge a little bit more and, and just what you could say about your blocker. Uh, my blockers, you know, they did the correct job they had to do and they helped me out a lot. They told me before the play actually started, they were like, just get in the end zone, follow my block. And everything happened exactly what they said and I ended up getting in the end zone. Well, you can say not only about yourself, but also about Jordan Fredericks, Tyrone Perkins, all you guys got opportunities as true freshmen today. And what you can say about some of your teammates in the backfield? Um, you know, just we were getting reps all summer, you know, just going hard, watching film, you know, being in the meeting room with the older guys, them helping us out. And it was just an amazing push from them, you know, looking down at us and saying, like, you guys are here now, you guys got to help us out any way you can. So also the older guys helping us out, giving us real, a lot of confidence, you know. When you hear Scott Schaefer say your name in a press conference in a positive light, knowing that this is your first game, you're a true freshman, mm -hmm. what can you say about your feelings right now? Um, well, you know, right now it's just I got to keep pushing and pushing. You know, this is just week one. Anything can happen next week. But I'm just in major shock right now that I actually got a chance to go out there and do something. What can you say about, you know, the offensive line that's out there? Because when you get out there, I mean, you got backups in front of you. You got some true freshmen also out there. Just what you could say about how deep this team is and how if you're in second or third string, you guys were still moving the yeah. ball. Uh, I mean, our team, we know everybody gets reps in practice. And, you know, just going up against the ones for defense is, you know, us getting a push and getting more feeling for when we go up against other teams. And it's just having confidence and not being afraid of anybody who's fa who we're facing. Being an H-back or a running back, you know, you did a lot of things in high school, catching the ball and running with the ball. How comfortable are you getting in this offense? Do you feel like you've been able to pick it up pretty quickly? I mean, since, like you said, I played in high school and we ran the option. It's similar to what we had, where I'm at right now. You know, it's just it's getting there and getting the plays called and I'm getting it down now after this whole summer camp. It's getting in the playbook and everything, watching film, taking reps and everything, mental reps and actual reps getting in. It's just an amazing feeling to be out there. A walk-on running back in Jacob Hill made big plays too. Mm -hmm. How does he push you guys? Uh, in practice, you know, he goes he goes up against the number one uh, team actually for, for us and it's just he never gives up. Always pushing, fighting, making cuts, jukes. He's an amazing player to watch. I, I love watching him when I'm on the side. Even in practice, you know, he makes somebody miss and it's something amazing to watch. Eric Dungy, seeing him go in there after your leader, Terrell Hunt, goes down. What can you say about the backup quarterback and what he was able to do? Um, Dungy, you know, he always, in the summer, he always pushed to the next level, you know, always, you know, doing what he had to do and just getting reps, mental reps, watching film, you know, and any time his, his name got called, he was always out there doing some some good. And lastly for you, Dante, you made the decision to come to Syracuse, went through your recruitment. You and I got to talk a lot. Being here, being in your first game on the first day and scoring in your first collegiate mm -hmm. game, looking back on choosing Syracuse, what, what's going through your mind right now? Uh, right now, it's the best pro best decision I probably made. Because, you know, if I would have picked any other school, it would have been, you know, maybe red shirt and going down another, another way. But the coaches and the players, you know, just brought me in as a family and probably the best decision I made in my life.